Hi guys and welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over something that I've uh, run into when I get a board back from the fab and I'm like, when I'm looking at it, I'm like, what, what happened to this PCB? Basically when there's, you have a pad that's plated, right? So usually, so say it's coming from Oshpark, it would be a gold pad. And then around it, there's like a area of, uh, of unplated FR4. It's just hanging out out there. And I was, What's, what's actually happening here? And what, how did this actually happen from my KiCad files? I thought everything was fine. So let's take a look at an older KiCad file that I have here. Um, so this is an older board that we worked on in the course. And right now, it's fine. And actually, I'm going to show you another thing that we have here, too, which is if you hit Alt-3, we can go to the 3D view. We'll go over this in more detail in the future, uh, just kind of the, the options and stuff. But that's a nice way to, you know, you can click and drag around and all that other stuff. So this looks fine. This looks like how I'd expect it to happen. But I'll show you what happened when it went poorly um, in the setup file. And like I've said before, this will be changing a little bit in KiCad 5.1 because some of the GUI changes. Uh, but you know the actual function shouldn't change too much. It's pad to mass clearance. This is this is something where basically you're saying how far should the solder mass be drawn back from the actual pad. Now the reason people do this is because sometimes in processing you don't want to have the solder mask, which is that you know either the the colored part of the board. So if it's a Oshpark board, it's purple. If it's you know just a standard PCB somewhere else, it's usually green or black or whatever. You know you, you can choose your your colors a lot of these days. But basically the idea is. With a lot of older processing, and, and specifically with you know lower cost fabs that aren't as good at, at doing it, you wanted to make sure you pulled it back a little bit because you didn't want the the thing to creep over, especially if it's a smaller pad. If it's a larger like SOIC pad, like we're going to look at, it's not as big a deal. But you do this across the board. Now we all also show you how you can do it on a per pad basis or a per uh, footprint basis. But let's take a look at this here. So what does this actually do? So let's say we pull it back by 10 mil, right? So it's zero, one, zero, so a tenth, a 10 one thousandths of an inch. Let's do that. And what you see here is that we actually have a, a, a layer that looked like it was hidden being pulled back here. That's actually the F dot mask layer, right? And there's also the B dot mask layer. That's the same thing. But let's, so that's just showing here. It's basically showing that, okay, we're going to actually, this, this uh, F dot mask was actually just over top of the red before. So, and I'll show that in a second here. But the um, what it shows here is, let's actually look at the 3D view. This is actually what it would look like when it comes back from the fab, right? And this is saying, OK, well, uh, from, from the edge of the pad, it's going to pull back 10 mils. And that's basically what we're showing here. And this is a global, a global thing. Now, we can actually go in, and we can modify the pad, or the, the footprint itself. Right? So I moused over, clicked, hit E. And we should be able to actually set this here specifically. So if it's zero, you have to put something other than zero if you want to. So if we wanted it to not be the 10 mils that's the standard for the board, we'd have to do something like that. Now when we did that, right, now this part specifically has it pulled back just one mil. And I can show you what I was talking about there. It is actually shown. So if I turn off f.cu, right, which is the copper part, the foot or the the mask clearance um, setup is here. And what all this is actually an inverse thing that the you tell the fab, you say, hey, leave the pink part of the solder mask open. That's really what we're showing here. And everything else should be covered with solder mask. And in this case, we're basically with this setup, we're actually showing this as a a global a global uh, amount you can pull it back. Now you can actually I think you can also do this on a per pad basis, right? So now I moused over, click the pad itself. And I think I can actually do the same thing here, right? So you could just say, just for this one pad, now I want this to just be one. Oop, it changed the entire setup of the pad. Did I do that wrong? That pad clearance, sorry, that was the wrong one. There we go. So now just one of these pads is, uh, it has a smaller solder mask as well. And if we look at this on the 3D view, same thing happens here. This is kind of what it looks like when it comes back from the fab. So uh, if you want to set it, Honestly, these days, um, you know, most of the processing that I do, most of the fabs that I send to, I'm pretty well, um, I'm, I'm pretty confident in. And so what I normally do, my, my standard setup here is to set it to zero. And what that does is uh, sometimes, you know, basically there are, there are processing tolerances. Uh, you can see this one still has a little bit more just because I, uh, I said it like that. I said I said this one specifically and this footprint specifically, so it will have a little bit more of a clearance. But what's going to happen is basically, if it is going to encro, if it is going to have a problem, it's probably going to go a little bit over top of the pad, and uh, that's something that, you know, depending on what size designs you're working with. If you're working with, you know, BGAs, it's a much bigger deal. The very tiny, tiny pads, you know, 0.4 millimeter pads versus, you know, something with an SOIC, it's got a big pad, probably going to be okay. Uh, I do recommend you go to you know well-known uh, well-known uh, uh, 
PCB manufacturers in the first place. That's going to help all of your problems in the first place. So this is just a quick look at the pad mask clearance part of KiCad and generally just the concept for all of uh, electronics, I suppose, and making your own PCBs. So if you have any of the questions about how to make PCBs, you can go over to forum.contextualelectronics.com. That, that's where we talk about the course, this board that we've uh, that I showed here, and we also have contextualelectronics.com. That is a there's some free stuff and also some paid stuff for learning how to build your next PCB. If you want to just talk about KiCad itself or this feature or other software problems, you can go to forum.kicad.info. That's all for now. We'll have more videos coming up soon. Thanks for watching.